folks, Jodo again. Um, this is a little side video uh, while I'm working on the Banshee project. Uh, the part of it was the cut down uh, rough cut that I used as the, um, the front underslung gun. In building that, uh, putting the orange model X springs etc in it, I actually killed the original gear that was in it. So I ended up having to purchase a second rough cut um, to replace the internals in that. Now, in not wanting to waste, throw away a perfect loot blaster, purely because the only thing that was wrong with it was that gear, um, I thought, well, I'm going to have a look and see if I can design and 3D print my own. Uh, now, I have actually done that. I have 3D printed uh, this little gear here, here um, which fits in to the blaster and fits in quite well. There's one in this blaster currently, and it's working perfectly. Uh, this one I've printed is, the tolerance is a little bit tighter on it, so I'm actually going to swap that out, put, put this one in here, um, and I'm going to try and beef up the springs and what have you to try and see, uh, give it a real good test and just see how much it can handle. All right, so what I'm going to do is pull apart this rough cut now. Um, you'll see where the gear fits, etc., and uh, we'll put the new printed gear in there. Uh, they're printed out of ABS instead of PLA, so it's a little bit stronger. Um, and what I've actually done is, after printing it and cleaning it up, I've sort of uh, painted it over with acetone, which sort of uh, is almost like a... It, it sort of smears the coats, the, the layers together and just sort of bonds them together just a little bit better again. So um, we'll see how that handles, uh, holds up. I'll just uh, pull this apart and we'll put it in. Okay, so we've opened up the, up the rough cut shell. Um, so what we'll do is... Uh, this one at the moment is stock standard, so we'll take the uh, internals out, which are fairly straightforward. They just lift out. We'll do the little twist on the barrel section here to remove the front plunger assembly. Um, the trigger will pop out the back here. Okay, so now the gear is, as you can see, it's in there. Just drawn back. that all the way back and then let's pull it back forward and there you go so you can see a little gear working in there now uh, th this gear is uh, a little bit cleaner than what that one is so we're going to pop this one in and uh, give it a shot so I've just got to undo these three screws and the clip at the bottom here and just be careful when you're taking it apart because uh, bits can fling out and fly off because there's spring-loaded parts in there so uh, I'll just undo these screws and then I'll show you taking it apart. Okay, so I've undone the three screws and the little clip. So now this orange section will lift off. Like I said, you want to do so just carefully so that you don't lose track of what's where. Um, <laughs> like that. Okay, so there's a little guide that actually sits on the, the post there and then that meshes in at the bottom. So you can see how that sits. There. So this will just lift out, then your main gear here will lift off that rod and lift out. Alright, I'm just going to lift that one out and I'll show you it and then um, we'll uh, show you the new one going in. Okay, so the old gear is this one on the left here, this is the new gear on the right, so that will drop that one in. And as you can see it goes in much easier, so it's, it's going to spin much freer than what the other one did. Um, you've got your slide that goes top here actually, that little cap covered in grease so it's all slippery and painful to try and reassemble. Little cap goes on there, then this rail goes on here like this, there's this sleeve here which actually pops down through that hole and into that channel gives it some guidance. Now you've got your pivot, your main gear, get that to mesh in. Okay. Um, and yeah, this rod goes in here. All right, I'll, um, I'll put the uh, top back on now and, um, and we'll give a bit, a bit of a test prime and we'll see how it goes. 
So here we are back again with the blast now reassembled. Um, I took the original stock springs out and what I did was I had the springs out of this one which were stock springs but they had been stretched to nearly twice their length. So I actually put those in there. Uh, now in trying to put those in there it just wanted to push the uh, plunger barrels, I don't know, whatever you want to call them, plunger tubes, away from the air restrictor sort of housing where they slot together. So I actually glued the two together, then put them into place and then compressed the springs and put the screw in the back of the cylinders that hold the plunger tubes in place. Um, so, all right, uh, now what I'm going to do is um, do a few uh, pumps with it and see how it works and um, we'll put some shots to it and see if it's uh, working and how well it shoots and what have you, do a bit of a demo. Um, so I'll just set the camera up and we'll uh, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so from here, uh, I'll just do it in slam by mode. Definitely uh, harder to find with those stretch springs. It's now a working rough cut again. Um, now I'll just pop some darts in it. We'll put it through a few shots down the barrels and see how it's faring. Right. So it's shooting fine. Um, I'll give you a shooter's perspective. So as you can see, it's uh, it's working perfectly with the um, 3D printed gear. Um, the last gear that I had in there, the 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 other gear that I had in there, this this one here. Um, even though it's not quite as uh, nicely printed as the one that's in there now. Um, I still used it for probably 150 odd um, pumps and it worked fine, didn't miss a beat. So um, I haven't tried it with orange modwork springs. I don't have a spare pair of orange modwork springs, but um, look with stretch springs um, as a bit of an upgrade. Or just to get your stock rough cut up and running again, um, this gear will do the job. So, uh, anyway, that's just a short video. Alright, thanks again, and I will see you on the next mod. Cheers.